Good morning, gathering community and uh, friends. Uh, this is Peter. It's Wednesday, April 29th, and um, just going to share with you uh, another weekly devotional. Um, as you all know, uh, I really fight for and start every day with some devotional time with the Lord and um, really value that time and uh, really try to put myself in a posture of listening um, and acting on what um, I sense the Lord is um, saying to me. And over the last bunch of days, um, I think the Lord's been um, really speaking something into my life. And, and um, I hope it's something that you may be experiencing yourself. And um, when we talk about um, what our new normal can look like in the future and what might be essential, um, I think this is something we all know, but we get so caught up in our lives that that we um, can forget this and forget how important it is. So um, let me just say this. I want to give a shout out to um, to Millie and Alta uh, for dropping by the other day and um, just blessing Betsy and I with a gift. Um, uh, I got some adult vitamins and uh, was so appreciative of that uh, being thought of and um, and blessed with the, um, those coffee mugs with ver verses that really are a part of Betsy's in my life. So thank you, uh, Millie and Alta, for that. And then, and then yesterday evening, we discovered this bag in our entryway filled with avocados. So I just want to give a shout out to Steve. Thank you so much for thinking of Betsy and I and blessing us with those avocados. And, and I know a lot of you are doing that uh, to one another. So one of the things I'm noticing um, is uh, because of the social distancing we're having to live into, um, I think God is at work um, kind of binding us together, connecting us more from a distance than we, we did before on a weekly basis. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Excuse me. Whew. Big sneeze there. Um, I think we're connecting during the week a whole lot more than when we did when we were able to be together on Sunday. And I think that's one of those things that um, that we ought to um, hold on to as an essential when this crisis is over and we get to meet together is that we continue to to pursue the ways in which we can connect um when we're away from our worship gathering. So um, I, I was thinking about Hebrews 24 um, with this thought in mind. Um, the writer of Hebrews says, let us consider how that we can spur one another on towards love and good deeds. Let us consider means to reflect and think and, and ponder what we could actually do to spur one another on towards love and good deeds, which means our love in action. Uh, Jesus said to his followers, I want you to love one another as I have loved you. This idea that the love that they have for one another wouldn't just be spoken, but it would be shown because Jesus showed how he loved his disciples. He showed how he loved other people. Um, Jesus challenged um, the disciples and anyone who was listening in John chapter 15. He, he challenged, he invited, he called them to abide in his love and that when we abide in his love, we would find his joy that his joy would be in us because we're abiding in his love and that, that our joy would be made complete by abiding in his love. So this idea that as we, we are with him, his love invades our lives so much that we find joy in that. And I think as people come across us, the joy that we have would be the joy that we have found in him. Uh, Jesus said, people will know you by your fruit. People will know you by your fruit. And so think about the fruits of the Spirit that we know. The fruit of the Spirit, the Spirit of God in us, the Spirit of Jesus in us, the Holy Spirit at work in us. That fruit would look like this. It would be love. It would be joy. It would be peace. It would be kindness. It would be goodness. It would be faithfulness. It would be gentleness and self-control. So what if we consider spurring each other on towards that in action. So that fruit would look more like this if you want to add some words to it. So let's put our love into action. Let's put our joy into action. 
Let's put our peace into action. Let's put our kindness into action. Let's put our goodness into action. Let's put our faithfulness into action. Let's put our gentleness into action. Let's put our self-control into action. This past week uh, in the Moravian one day, Romans 12, 10 was in there. And I loved these words. It said, love one another with brotherly affection. Outdo one another in showing honor. Love one another affectionately, which means you're going to act on it. And then the challenge to like outdo one another as we show honor. So I'm going to date myself here. There was a movie a long time ago called Pay It Forward. And if you recall in that movie, it was just one young boy's attempt to change the world around him. And he believed in his mind that if I were to do an act of kindness to someone and challenge them to pay it forward, that it would change the world. And he literally did a diagram of it and how it would look. Very similar to the diagrams that we're seeing in the way in which this virus is spread. That if I have the virus, it could come into contact with three and then so on and so on until the virus spreads. What if our love and action could spread that way? What if our love and action could spread that way? So here's my challenge to us. I want you to think about and pray about Ways in which you could do an act of kindness and do an act of love, an act of generosity into the life of someone else in our community, in our church community, in your neighborhood, in your work environment that would show the joy that you have found in Jesus. And it would be um, an encouragement, a joy that would be brought into their life, knowing that peace would come with that. That simple act of kindness would bring joy and peace and hope to others. So if anybody does something to you, consider how you might do that for someone else. And know that that's going to have an impact on other people's lives. It's going to have a huge impact. In fact, I challenge you, if someone in our church does something for you, that's an act of kindness that brings you joy and peace and hope. Immediately think to yourself, how could I go do that for my neighbor? Right next door. How could I pass it on? How could I pay it forward? And I really really believe that that's where um, we're going to find joy in the midst of this. It's awesome to do something loving for someone else. It really is. It's really fun. Betsy and I are getting a real kick out of doing that. And it's so life-giving. And I think it binds us together in love. So like I said at the beginning out of Hebrews 10, 24, let's consider how we may spur one another on towards love and good deeds. And know that that is what brings the hope of Jesus to our world. Amen? May we experience peace that goes beyond understanding as we live with the hope and joy that we have found in Jesus. Have a great day.